my fellow gods and goddesses, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and today we are doing the end of the year book tag. I believe that this tag was created by Books and Lala, so I will have her channel linked down below even though I'm sure you guys know who Lala is. I needed something to film today and so I decided to film this because it seems appropriate since we are near the end of the year. And I am very heavily caffeinated but also coming down from my caffeination and I'm kind of at that stage where every little thing annoys the crap out of me. So I really don't know how this filming thing is going to work out. But we're gonna find out. The first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? <laughs> oh boy, do I. I am a chronic book starter. I am reading eight books on my Goodreads right now. I have zero problems starting a book. I can start every single book on my shelf. But will I read more than two chapters? That is the question. And the answer is usually no. So I have quite a few books here that I have started and hopefully will finish by the end of the year. First one, God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I am 47 pages into this. I am enjoying this. I love that there are gladiators in here. I didn't know that this book was centered around gladiators. And now that I do, I'm like, yes, I need it. Let's go. And I also want to know what happens at the end because everybody says the ending is absolutely crazy. And I also have God's Grave over there staring at me, waiting for me to pick it up. So I really need to finish this by the end of the year. I'm really hoping I can knock out this and God's Grave and have the Nevernight Trilogy be done, canceled, over with before 2020. But will that happen? I don't know. I also have started twice now There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. I was planning on reading this for Witchathon this year for the Samhain round, but I canceled doing that readathon like halfway through because I just wasn't feeling it. And I am only 10 pages into this one. So. There we go. I feel like I'm going to love this. Maybe not love it, but I think I'm really going to like this because it's set in like ancient Rome-esque world and it's based on the Seven Wonders board game. And there's, there's like a prophetic element to this and it's like the end of the world. I don't know, it just, it sounds interesting. I really love the cover and I really wanna love this. I just have not committed to it, so hopefully I will by the end of the year. And then finally, I have to finish Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is, I am 73 pages in, so I'm the longest way into this one. I was really, really, really enjoying this when I was first reading this, and I was very intrigued, and I've hit like a slow point that is really, really slow. It's kind of, this is a basically, assassin nuns like nun assassins and there's like an assassin school very like never night-esque very grave mercy-esque but it's a lot of like day-to-day -day stuff and i'm just not invested enough into it to really enjoy that aspect but I really, really want to get to this because I think I'm going to love it. I really like the writing style of Mark Lawrence and I just, I want to become obsessed. So I really want to get to this by the end of the year as well. So these are the three books that I have started and I would like to finish by the end of the year. Next question is, do you have an autonom a a a autonomous book? To transition into the end of the year that I want to get to before the end. Oh, yes. You know what? There is. Let me get up and grab her. Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I don't know if this is like autumn-y. It's probably just because of the cover, but this just looks very autumn-y to me, and I do want to have this duology finished by the end of the year, so... Crooked Kingdom, hopefully, will be read. Maybe I can include this on my Tome Topple Readathon TBR. Mm -hmm. 
I would say I have waited long enough to put myself through the emotional damage that this book will likely bring. The next question is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? No. Um, I think the only one I can really think of is Queen of Nothing, which after reading Wicked King, I'm really not that excited for. Mm, I know that's a bold statement, but I'm just like, my expectations for that are so low that it's really hard for me to be excited for it. But I am, you know, waiting for Queen of Nothing like many, many other people. So that is going to be my answer. Next question is what are the three books that you want to read before the end of the year? Again, all of the books that I have mentioned I want to read by the end of the year. But one I definitely want to get through is Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Cristo. This is her sophomore novel. I really don't know too much about it. I just know it's like kind of surrounding a heist esque plot with this magical underground thievery criminal delinquents you know the beautiful trope that we all know and love this was my most anticipated read of the year and i have it and i've had it for like a week now and i still haven't read it so criminal of me to do so but i would definitely love to have this read by the end of the year i definitely think i want to make a dedicated reading vlog to this because it's my most anticipated read of the year so look out for that hopefully she will get read soon. And then the next book that I want to read by the end of the year is of course The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I have started this but I'm only 20 pages into this. She is very thick. She is over 600 pages and this is the concluding book for the Arc of the Scythe trilogy which is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I adore it so much. So I really want to get to this. I want to see how this trilogy ends. I want to see where Neil Schusterman goes. So this will hopefully be read by the end of the year. Just to throw it out there and kind of try to hold myself accountable, I would love to read as many of the Witcher books as I can. I am currently reading Song of Destiny. <laughs> And I know that the TV show is coming out in December, so I would like to at least start the main plot of the book. So hopefully I can at least finish Blood of Elves. That would be nice, but honestly I kind of want to read just like as many as I can before the end of the year. And I also think this is kind of a good time to be reading like high fantasy. Wintery time is like my time to shine when it comes to adult high fantasy I feel like. I feel like it's like the perfect time of year to just read really thick boys. So that's I guess my last one but I'm not holding myself too accountable for this one. The next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? No. My favorite book of the year is Song of Achilles by Mila Miller, which is my favorite book of all time. And I don't think any book is going to top Song of Achilles for me, but I do think Into the Crooked Place could very well make my top 19, top 10. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do for the year. But other than that, I freaking hope not because I'm already just stressed out about making my top of the year list because I have had so many absolutely incredible books read this year which is I mean not something to complain about but it's stressing me out a little because I'm like how am I going to narrow this down and then the last question is have you already started making reading plans for 2020? Mm, kind of. I do have reading vlog ideas like secret tbrs which are like the total rage right now thanks to books and lala she really does just revolutionize booktube doesn't she but nothing really specific the only thing i know i'm going to read is song of achilles again in january i do plan on reading this again and i also kind of want to read cersei as well in january so that's really the only thing the only reading plans I really have. I mean, I am very much keeping track of all of the new releases. I've been like creating my new releases 2020 
file on Goodreads since like June. So I do have a lot of anticipated releases I'm looking forward to, but really specific reading plans, not really. I do plan on maybe organizing that a little bit more, but again, I'm such a mood reader that it wouldn't really work out that well. So I think my plans are more video based than specific book based, but yeah. So kind of long answer, that short answer, not really. All right, you guys, so that was the end of this video. Very short, quick, and sweet. Let me know down below what you guys want to get read by the end of the year. I am very curious to see. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>